What's going on guys? It's Winkit here, back with another video. Today we are going to be talking about South Carolina football. I'm going to be projecting the rest of the season, um, as we know. Um, the first two games have already, have already happened. We lost to North Carolina in a very disappointing loss, and then with Jake Bailey being injured for the rest of the season, and now Ryan Helinski taking over as quarterback, um, we look very hopeful for the rest of the season. Um, so I'm just going to be projecting the rest of the season. So our next game is Alabama. I will be going to that game next week. And uh, obviously they're one of the best teams in the country, um, if not the best. Um, but realistically, um, I mean, making these predictions, there's going to be slight bias. And obviously with all these games, they're going to be pulling for my team to win. I think we can pull all the wins out, although not realistically. But I'm going to be ranking these realistically. So the Alabama, against Alabama, I doubt we are... Um, I doubt we'll beat them, so I'm just going to go ahead and project us losing to them. And now the next week, we have Missouri. So this is how it is. With South Carolina's schedule, they have, if not the second hardest, the hardest schedule in the country. Um, so there's three teams that that are pretty much automatic losses that I'm just going to go ahead and rule out which is Alabama, Georgia, and Clemson. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and have us losing, losing those three games. The other games that are toss-up games really to me anyways are Texas A&M, Florida, and Missouri. Um, I don't think we'll have a hard time beating Tennessee or Vanderbilt or App State. Um, might be a close one with Kentucky, but I think we're going to pull that one off this year. Um, but for the next game is Missouri. That could be a toss-up, but I'm going to I'm gonna go with us losing that one. Um, again, it could be a toss-up. I'm, I'm hopeful. I hope we beat them, but I'm going to go ahead and say we lose that one. Um, the following game is Kentucky. Don't think we'll have a problem beating them, so I'm going to go ahead and have us beating Kentucky. Next game is Georgia, and Georgia it's just been so hard to beat them. They're the third best team in the country. I'm going to go ahead with us losing to Georgia. The following game, Florida. It's really hard, guys. Really hard to project if we're going to win or lose. Florida and Texas a and are going to be the two other hardest games besides Georgia, Alabama, and Clemson. Um, they're really going to be the two hardest toss-up games. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have us beating Florida. The next three games should be easy. It's against Tennessee. Vanderbilt and App State. I'm going to go ahead with us winning all three of those. Um, Tennessee has a good football team. They haven't been able to put the pieces together. They've given us trouble every year we've played them. Uh, regardless of win or lose, the last three years it have been tough to beat them. Hopefully we can pull out again, but I'm going to go ahead with giving us a win. Vanderbilt, same thing. Um, should be an easy win. App State, they've been a relatively good team. They are even ranked once in the last five years, but I'm going to go ahead with us beating them. Texas A&M, the second to last game. Now this game is one of the most frustrating for the Gamecocks. We've lost to them five years in a row. We've never beaten Texas A&M in the entire history. I want to see us beat them. I think we can do it. We have the ability. Um, but you know, it's just, just such a tough schedule. I mean... I might end up changing who I think we're going to win or lose to, um, but I do see us beating Texas A&M, so I'm going to go ahead with us beating Texas A&M. It might be risky, but that's what I'm going to do. The last game of the year, Clemson. We have the ability to, but they're just such a good team. I'll probably be at that game, but I'm going to go ahead with us losing to Clemson. There you go, guys. My projection for the USC season is 
seven and five. Uh, that's a really good. That would be a really really good season. Realistically, we might go we'll probably go six and six, seven and five. Hopefully, that's just hoping. Um, of course, there's a couple games that could go either way. Me seeing, I could see us beating Missouri, losing the Florida, losing the A and M winning one of the other games but overall I, th I project right now we're gonna go 7-5 even with losing to North Carolina thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new subscribe if you like to see other videos like this um, I want to do a video like this making it about South Carolina because I'm a diehard South Carolina fan I'd like to make more videos like this if you enjoy them please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Spurs up. See you guys in the next video.